I was lucky enough the other night, my friend cooked for me and her dish was a standout dish. It was pasta with caramelised onions and anchovies. So I'm adding a really good splash of olive oil to a pan. I'm going to turn this on a medium heat because you want to get these onions on. They need to cook for a while so they caramelise and become sticky and sweet. So you'll need a couple of onions for this. I've just sliced them up and it looks like a lot of onions, I know, but it does cook down significantly. I'll grab myself a wooden spoon and then we'll just coat that in the oil. And just to ensure they don't burn, I always like to add a really good pinch of salt so it breaks them down. We're just gonna keep an eye on them and constantly stir them and toss them until they become a deep color, so about 20 minutes. While they're cooking, we can get onto one of the garnishes, which is breadcrumbs. Now I'm gonna toast them in a pan with some extra virgin olive oil. And you want this on a medium heat, not too hot, because you want them to go a gorgeous golden color, a nice even color. If that's too hot, then we might get patchy colors. So medium heat in with fresh breadcrumbs and you'll see it absorbs that oil straight away. So with a spoon, we're just going to, again, constantly toss this in the oil, coating all of the breadcrumbs in it and keep stirring. So I'll keep an eye on these breadcrumbs, keep tossing these gorgeous onions, and once they're cooked, we'll go on to the next stage. these onions. See how they've caramelised and broken down significantly? They smell fantastic. Now we're going to build on this flavour. So some anchovies. You can add quite a lot of them or three or four. I'm going to add four and just chop them up. Use really good quality anchovies for this. You'll taste the difference. And I'm chopping this up because I want them to break down into the onions. So they'll melt away. You won't really see them at all. Okay, so in they go. Sprinkle them in. And we also need to add our tomato paste. So we'll just turn up the heat slightly and in with our tomato paste. It's also going to thicken this up quite a lot. But have your water on standby for your pasta because we're going to feed some of that water into the onions, which is going to create this delicious sauce. So the last little thing I want to add to the sauce is a pinch of chilli. Totally optional. I like the heat of it. Just a small amount of chilli flakes. And that's looking pretty good. So that's gonna cook for another five minutes. Gives me just enough time to put our pasta in. I'm going to use some penne zita. Penne zita is exactly like every other penne pasta. The only difference between this penne pasta and the other penne is there's no ridges in it. I like this pasta for this type of sauce. I've just been feeding this sauce with a little bit of that starchy water and you can see it's just glossy, it's gorgeous. Pasta is al dente. So we're going to just use a slotted spoon straight into the sauce. Don't worry about using a strainer, it's just another thing to wash up. <laughs> we don't need to do that. In fact, the pasta is always going to taste better if you pop it straight into the sauce and then give it a really good toss. And when I say a really good toss, you want to agitate that pan. You really want to coat each individual piece of pasta in that sauce. I probably should have thought about this before I wore white. <laughs> but I'll be very careful as I toss this. I'll also just grab a wooden spoon and just agitate the pan like this. It's a really deep, rich sauce. And if you love your onions, you're going to love this. If you love anchovies, you're also going to love this. Okay, very happy with that. We'll grab that slotted spoon and we'll just portion this up a little more. And don't forget those breadcrumbs. They've cooled down. I like the crunchy texture over the top and a little flourish of pecorino. Pecorino is made with goat's milk. It's got a bit more of a salty, intense flavour than parmesan. You could also use parmesan if you like. And there you have it. That is such a wonderful pasta. Bolognese, we know how to make that. Let's make different pastas just like this caramelised onion and anchovy penne.